Hello guys, welcome back sa akin channel. Ako nga pala Sir Mar Santa Maria, Master Teacher 1 of Governor Luis A. Ferrer Junior East National High School na magbibigay sa inyo ng mga math techniques para mapadali ang topic nyo sa mathematics. Hello guys, ngayon pag-uusapan natin ang table, tree diagram, systematic listing, and the fundamental counting principle na under ng Mathematics 8, quarter number 4, and week number 6. So dito meron tayong another way of counting the occurrences of an outcome in an experiment is with the use of table, the tree diagram, systematic listing, and fundamental counting principle. Ito ngayon ang example ng uh, tabular form. At ito naman yung example ng tree diagram. Kung matatandaan mo yung pinaka-discussion natin uh, dati, na-explain ko na sa inyo yung pinaka-tree diagram. So ngayon, ibibitin na lamang natin kasama ang uh, tabular form. Pagdating naman kay uh, systematic listing, ang gagawin naman natin dito, lahat ng elements ng S or sample space ay naka-list down. Okay. Siyempre, enclosed with a pair of Okay, so we have uh, braces. Then, pag binilang natin ngayon ang lahat ng elements natin dito, magkakaroon tayo ng uh, 9. Kaya, ang N of S or the number of outcomes in the sample space is equal to 9 or the cardinality in the sample space equal to 9. Pag ginamit naman natin ng fundamental counting principle without listing or without using the table or uh, tree diagram, kaya mo ngayon i-identify ang 9. Paano yun? Imumultiply mo lang ngayon yung primary colors na tatlo kasi tatlo yung given. Tapos secondary colors na another tatlo kaya magiging equal ka 9. Ibig sabihin, kung sa isang option meron kang tatlo, sa pangalawang option meron kang apat, ang gagawin mo lang doon, 3 times 4, di magiging equal ka 12. Diba? So, instead of uh, listing down all the outcomes. Kung ang hinahanap lang naman dito ay how many outcomes. So, ang magiging 9, di ba? So, pinakamadali doon ang FCP o ay tinatawag nating fundamental counting principle. Ayun, madali lang yun. Kaya, punta na tayo ngayon kay learning task number 1 about Calabarzon's best hour. Oh, sarap nito. So, below are some popular delicacies and beverages in Calabarzon. So, you see Calabarzon, Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Amparizal, and Quezon. So, list all the possible outcomes and determine the total number of possible combinations of delicacies and beverages using tabular form. Pangalawa ay systematic uh, listing. So, unahin natin ngayon ang uh, tabular form. So, sa beverages, meron tayong dalawa. Buko juice and palamig. Okay, so siguro naman lahat ay nakatikin na ng uh, buko juice and palamig. Ano? So, sa delicacies naman dito, meron naman tayong apat bukopay, bibingkoy, biko, and suman. Sa so, pag ginamit mo lang yung tabular form, pwede nga na, pwede magkabalikan. Pwede mong ilagay dito yung delicacies, tapos dito yung beverages, or pwede magkabalikan. So, nasa iyo kung paano mo siya ilalagay. So, usually, kung sino yung pinakamarami, dito natin ilagay para um, hindi masyado o hindi masyado pa vertical. So, bali, ang ilalagay natin para sa Kasi ang delicacies natin dito, 1, 2, 3, 4. Tapos, ang beverages lamang natin dito ay 1 and 2. Kung dito natin ilalagay yung delicacies, so bali pa, baba yun, so magiging pa vertical. Pero walang problema, pareho lang yan. So, hindi yun mababago yung pinakasagot mo. Kaya, okay lang na dito ilagay yung delicacies kasi nga, pakarasantala, no? So, ang gagawin mo lang doon, ilagay mo lang dito yung uh, buko pa, bibingkoy, biko, suman. Pagdating naman kay beverages, eto naman yung buko and palamig. So, ano ngayon na magiging, ano, magiging outcome? Eto lang yung may intersasya ng uh, buko juice at buko pa. Hindi makakagawa, makakagawa ka ngayon ng buko juice at buko pie. Then, buko juice bibingkoy, eto ngayon yun. Then, buko juice uh, biko, eto ngayon yun. Then, we have buko juice and uh, suman. Eto, eto lang yun. Pagdating naman kay uh, palamig, palamig and buko pie, eto ngayon yun. Palamig and bibingkoy, eto yun. Palamig and biko, so we have eto yun. Then, palamig and uh, suman, ayun. Nakompleto na yung um, table natin sa paglalagay ngayon ng mga uh, outcomes. So, syempre, pagdating ng systematic listing, pwede mo nang tingnan yung pinaka na, pinaka table, di ba? So, meron kang uh, buko juice, buko pie, buko juice bibingkoy, buko juice abiko, buko juice suman, palamig buko pie, palamig bibingkoy, palamig biko, then palamig uh, kay uh, suman. Sabi nga sa inyo, wag kakalimutan talaga ng pair of uh, kay braces. Pag binilang mo yan, magkakaroon ka lamang ng ilan. So, magiging equal kay 8. Pag ginamit mo ang fundamental counting principle, ilang beverages meron ka? Dalawa. 
Diyan ilang uh, delicacies meron ka, apat, kaya 2 times 4 magiging equal kay 8. Or pwede magkabaliktad, 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Kasi pwede mo makunahin yung buko pay, buko juice, diba, buko pay palamig, bibingkoy buko juice, bibingkoy palamig, pwede nga, pwede yun. So, wala, hindi naman mabago yung yung kakainin mo kung uh, o kaya o orderin mo kung kahit alin doon yung unahin mo na order yan pero yung buko juice buko pie o kaya naman buko pie ang buko juice walang pinagbago yan okay so punta tayo ngayon dito sa learning task number 2 about bonding time oh talaga nami miss ko na yung bonding time na yan suppose that you and your friends will have a short bicycle ride around some palo clay ayun eto yun no oh. parang gusto ko rin nga makarating dyan ha this is considered as the largest among the seven lakes in San Pablo City. Ang dami lakes ng San Pablo, ano? So, after biking, okay, uh, bago tayo magpatuloy, uh, siguraduhin na paiiralin ang minimum health protocol. After biking, you and your friends decided to buy an ice cream uh, where you can choose from a different flavor such as chocolate, vanilla, cheese, or mango. So, and for the toppings, you can select uh, from marshmallows, nips, or uh, nuts. And then, how many possible combinations of flavors and toppings do you have? So, for uh, guide question letter A, how many flavors of ice cream? So, syempre, meron tayong apat. So, chocolate, vanilla, cheese, and uh, mango. Then, how many toppings do we have? Meron tayong tatlo. Marshmallows, uh, nips, or uh, nuts. Then, dito sa letter uh, C and D, so, gagawa tayo ngayon ng 3 diagram and systematic testing. So, sa paggawa ngayon ng 3 diagram, medyo matagal lang pero madali lang to. So, syempre, ilagay mo ngayon ang apat na uh, different uh, flavors ng um, ice cream. We have the chocolate, we have the vanilla, we have the cheese, and uh, mango. Then, ang, ang tatlong toppings natin dito, lahat tiga-tiga-tlong uh, combination siya. So, sa vanilla, ganun din, tatlo din yun. Tapos sa cheese, ganun din, tatlo din yun. Tapos sa uh, mango, ganun din, tatlo din yun. Okay? So, ilalagay natin ngayon ang uh, marshmallow sa at uh, sa tatlo as uh, apat nips ganun din tapos nuts ayan so lahat yan nakalagay diyan yan okay tapos kaya makita natin dito ang magiging possible outcomes natin ay una pwedeng chocolate and marshmallows pangalawa chocolate and nips pangatlo chocolate and nuts pangapat vanilla and marshmallows and then uh, vanilla and nips vanilla and nuts then pang um, seven uh, cheese and marshmallows and then cheese and nips chips and nuts Okay, then next we have mango and marshmallows and then mango nips and mango and uh, okay na. So, ibig sabihin how many uh, uh, possible outcomes we have, meron tayong labing dalawa, di ba? Kung gagamitan natin ng fundamental counting principle, ang gagawin mo lang doon magiging 4 times 3 is equal to 12 possible outcomes. So, for letter D naman daw dito, gagamit tayo ng systematic listing. Nandun na yun, uh, pag ginamit ko yung pinaka... Uh, 3 diagram, punin mo na lang doon, ilagay mo na lang dito sa pinaka uh, S natin na kaya sample space, then huwag kakalimutan lagi ng a pair of bases. Ayun. So, ito ngayon ang magiging uh, systematic uh, listing natin. So, from uh, chocolate, marshmallow, chocolate nips, hanggang kay mango, uh, nuts. Kaya, ilan lahat yon So, meron tayong 12 uh, possible uh, outcomes. So, pagdating naman kay learning task number 3 about count me in, so, madali lang to A newly opened canteen at San Jose National High School offers uh, to create your own pizza and drinks combo for only uh, 100 pesos. Sinabi combo combinations. For pizza toppings, we have salami, cheese, pepperoni, ham, or uh, bacon. For drinks naman, meron naman tayong iced tea, pineapple, pineapple juice, coke, or uh, Sprite. So, how many possible combinations meals are there? So, since ang inahanap lang naman natin dito ay number of possible combo meals kaya pinakamadalay gamitan natin ang fundamental counting principle so multiply mo lang yung 5 uh, pizza toppings times ng 4 uh, drinks kaya magkakaroon tayo ng 20 combo meals for question number 2 uh, during your film viewing at SM San Pablo o oh, bawal muna ngayon you decide to get popcorn at a movie at chatter the popcorn comes in regular isa, large, pangalawa jumbo sizes, pangatlo and has a choice whether buttered or cheese. So, another to, dalawa. Then, how many possible combinations are there? Kaya, using fundamental counting principle, so, 3, okay, so, times 2, kaya magkakaroon tayo ng 6 possible combinations. Okay, number 3. In a science experiment of grade 8 students in Prudencia de Fule, sana tama yung pagkakapronounce ng uh, apelido, 
Okay, pasensya na po kung nagamali ako. Memorial Ra National High School, the teacher asked to make a solution using a solid and liquid materials found in the kitchen. If you have two types of liquid, we have the oil and uh, soy sauce. And the four types of solid, we have the salt, sugar, pepper, and the flour. So, how many different solutions can be made? So, ang gagawin mo lang dito ay multiply mo lang yung two types of liquid times the two types of solid. Kaya magiging 2 times 4 is equal to 8 different solutions. So, for number 4, uh, your mother gave you money to buy a new cell phone that you will be using in your online class. Wow, di ba? So, sana gamitin sa tama yung uh, cell phone. So, how many possible choices do you have for a cell phone with 5 different colors? We have red, black, gold, silver, and or blue. And having a screen sizes of ilan tatlo? 5 inches, 5.5 inches, or 6.23 inches. At tinatanong natin dito, number of possible choices. Kaya, fundamental counting principle pa rin tayo. So, magiging 5 different colors times uh, 3 uh, screen sizes, kaya 5 times 3 So there are 15 possible choices And for number 5 How many 2 digit numbers can be formed From the numbers of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 And 6 If the digits are to be repeated Ibig sabihin, pwede tayo magkaroon ng Limbawa, 11, 1, 1 Diba ganun? Okay, pwedeng 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6 Okay, pwedeng uh, 2, 1, 2, 2 So pwedeng ulitin Kaya pag ginamitan natin to ng uh, fundamental counting principle Ang gagawin mo lang doon, 6 times 6 So magkakaroon tayo ng 36 sa 2 digit numbers Okay, so let us proceed with the assessment uh, Number 1, Irene invited uh, Charlie to her birthday party That will be held in Oravel Grande Hotel San Pablo City Big time So Charlene has 4 new blouses, stripes uh, with, with drapels, a uh, long sleeve and uh, sleeveless and three skirts, so we have the red, the pink, and the black in her uh, close-up reserve for such occasion. So how many ways can Cherylene uh, select her uh, outfit? Gamitin mo lang ng fundamental counting principle. So meron kang 4 times 3. So magkakaroon tayo dito ng 12 possible outfits. So ang magiging sagot natin ay letter uh, C. So Azela is ordering milk tea at gotcha uh, milk tea house. So, she could have a small, medium, or large. So, meron tayo dito tatlo. Uh, milk tea and she can choose from water, uh, winter melon, Okinawa, or uh, salted caramel. So, how many different choices of milk tea uh, can she have? So, meron kang 3 times 3. So, meron kang a total of 9 different choices. For number 3, Mr. Cornista, a head teacher of San Pablo City, Integrated High School will be having his breakfast at the school canteen. Ako naman maswerte dahil bago ako pumasok ay pinapakain ako ng uh, aking asawa. So he can choose from uh, the menu for day such as fried chicken, isa, portocino, second, or beef tapa, tatlo, third. So which can be paired by a plain rice, one, or a garlic rice, two. So how many different choices of rice and dish uh, does Mr. Cornista has Kaya magiging 3 times 2 So magiging equal lamang kay Siyempre, we have 6 Okay, so number 4 During the mathematics class Mr. La Luz asked his students If how many 2-digit numbers Can be made from the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 When repetition is not okay, allowed Hindi daw pwede tayo magkaroon ng 1-1 uh, O kaya 11 Hindi pwede magkaroon ng 2, 2 or 22 So ang gagawin natin dito So ilang numbers meron tayo? 4 Di ba? Magkakaroon ng 4 So since hindi na pwede ulitin yung nauna Ang gagawin na lamang natin dito ay Tatlo na lamang yung pwede mong gamitin Kaya magkakaroon ka ngayon ng 12 possible uh, combinations Then for number 15 Miss Rap Singh wants to eat salad where she can choose one from each of the following ingredients. So, two types of lettuce, we have five types of vegetables, and seven types of uh, dressings. So, how many possible combinations of salad ingredients uh, she can make? So, pag ginamitan na natin ng fundamental counting principle, so meron lamang tayong two times uh, five times uh, seven, kaya two times five magiging ten times seven for a total of seventy possible combination so we have letter D so 
So ayun guys, ganun lang kadali yung uh, week number 6 niya, di ba? Ang simple lang. So kung nagustuhan mo yung uh, video natin, syempre kindly like and share naman dito sa ito sa inyong mga klase at kung hindi ka pa nakakapag-subscribe, o oh, libre naman 'yan, paki-subscribe ka naman diyan. Tapos uh, hit na rin bell all para kapag nag-upload ako ng week number uh, 7. Uh, mabilis kang uh, manonotify at maraming salamat doon sa mga uh, students na nagpapaasa ka na sir pwede bang uh, pakiano na po yung week number 6 sa kayo week number 7 so thank you sa paalala at uh, hayaan nyo pipilitin natin na mag-i-update ang lahat ng videos natin so thank you and uh, God bless